All right. Hello, everyone. This is Bridget Danner with Women's Wellness Collaborative, and I'm here with my friend Mary Bowles. Is that how you say your last name? Mm -hmm. Bowles. Okay. Yes, thank you for not saying Bowles. <laughs> yeah, that's Appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> so Mary is someone who's been helping me. Oh, I got to, I got to, hold on. I got to silence my Facebook or I'm going to be, there we go. I'll be hearing that the whole time. Um, yeah, Mary's been helping with, with my beauty counter business. And let me just start by saying, what what is my beauty counter business? <laughs> what does that even mean? What are we here to talk about today? So I've been interested in non-toxic skincare really for a very long time. I got my first facial in Chinese medicine school in maybe like 2003. And I had very acnogenic skin in those days and I was pretty impressed by how well my skin cleared up. Uh, I had never really used like, you know, more than like Neutrogena or, you know, whatever I could get my hands on as like a teenager. Uh, so I was, I was really impressed and been interested in skincare since then and seen a lot of estheticians because um, I think it's a, just a really good investment. It keeps the organ of our skin healthy so I get questions about what products I use, but the problem was I was using a lot of specialty products from here and there. Some of them were only sold by um, spas or estheticians. So there was basically no way for me to recommend them to people all over the country or the world. And um, you know, there was kind of no way for me to sell them. So when I got introduced to Beauty Counter, I wanted to check it out because it's, um, you know, it's not all natural, but it is non-toxic in that they ban, was it 1500 ingredients, mm -hmm. Mary, yep. from, from their products that could cause us harm. So the other thing I really love about Beauty Counter is it's high performance product. So it's called Beauty Counter. I don't know the whole story behind why they named it that, but it's, you know, it's equivalent to going to a fancy department store and getting some nice, pro I haven't used that product in a long time. So I use natural product, but the idea of going to a beauty counter is it's high end product, right? And this is high end product. It's really a high performance line. So even if you aren't really into the whole natural thing, it's still just a nice high performance line that you can order from home. But if you are into the natural thing, uh, like I am, and you probably are, if you're watching this, it's really just a, a great option. So we're going to talk today about some of the premises of the company and, you know, how it picks its ingredients. And then today I wanted to mostly focus on the skincare lines it offers. So it also offers products for kids and, you know, shampoos and stuff like that. But I thought we'd kind of focus on the skincare and then if people have questions about more things, we could go from there. So Mary, maybe you can start us out by just telling, telling our viewers more about the company. Sure. So I know the other part of why they named it Beauty Counter. So of course, yes, it's a beauty counter. You know, you can, like you would go to a department store and buy a high-end product, but it's also countering the beauty industry. So what we also do with Beauty Counter is we are fighting for a better regulation in the industry. It's rare that a company will try to get more you know, regulation in their industry. So we're countering the industry. We don't like that the United States has only banned or restricted 30 ingredients in cosmetics, while the European Union has banned over 1,400. So Beauty Counter is doing even better and we're banning over 1,500. And these are toxic ingredients that shouldn't be in our products that are. So that's the other part of it, which is why I personally joined. I like that part of it. I like going to my senator's office and asking for a better regulation, which is what I did last month here in Colorado. I'm from Colorado. And so, I mean, I like that part of it, but I also like the beautiful products that work because honestly, I could probably just go around town fighting for better regulation without selling products but you know what i love the products too and they work really well so beauty counter they're out of santa monica california and we've been around for about five years now and um we make high performing products that, you know that are also safer for you and we're also advocating for you and for everyone out there that doesn't realize that there's harmful ingredients in your products that's awesome 
Yeah, I'm glad you mentioned that um, activist aspect. That is like so incredible. You know, uh, I was listening to a, a summit the other day and one of my friends in this industry also sells skincare and he was talking about how beauty counter is like leading the way to like try to get more legislation that just really made me feel proud about that i wanted to share one little tidbit about the thing about europe because i know a lot of people say oh, these things are banned in europe i have a friend living in europe right now and apparently that ban is not really enforced oh <laughs> It's like optional. Like a lot of those ingredients are still being used. Yeah. Yeah. I can share that blog with you. Yeah. It was totally pretty eye opening for me. I think it's more of like, yeah, like a guideline. And that's the, I mean, I should probably learn more about it, but the impression I got was it's a little bit more of a guideline than a hard and fast rule. So I thought that was interesting as well. Just teach it, you know, let you know you, ha you definitely have to read labels and understand the company you're working with is certainly here in the states um man that you know the the greenwashing on labels mm -hmm. is, is is pretty pretty bad yeah so you've got to know your stuff so this i sent out yesterday a newsletter and blog about phthalates which are chemical compound used for many things but in the world of personal care products it's used as like a kind of like a softener or a fixative and a fragrance enhancer, so to speak. So it makes fragrance, artificial fragrance, last longer. So I have gotten some questions about Beauty Counter. Is it fragrance-free? It's not fragrance-free and then it's, 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 it has scent, but it's naturally scented with essential oils. So that's the difference. If you want no fragrance, like just because you don't like the, any smells. I, I don't, do they have any like non-scented stuff? Mm -hmm. I think that our, I think our nourishing line, I mean, I don't get any scent off of this. It's very neutral scent. Um, our, yeah, our baby products are very neutral too. Um, yeah, but if we do have a scent, it's from an essential oil or it's from a, like a fruit acid or something like that. Um, we have a, we have a face oil that, ha that smells like a lemon drop and that's because it has vitamin C in it. So, you know, fragrance can in the sense of fragrance in the beauty industry, we don't use fragrance, but we use, like Bridget said, essential oils, or sometimes it might smell like an ingredient, like a fruit, <laughs> I guess. Yeah, yeah, like there's, I think there's a jasmine plumping oil that yes. smells really divine. Yeah, that's a good example. Yeah, I just bought a, a shampoo, or con I think it was a conditioner that they are discontinuing, the nourishing or like the repair one and a lot of people were commenting it smelled too strong <laughs> yes yes and I kind of like hearing that because I know that we're using good fragrances in ours but I think people have started to cut it out of their life completely and so when they smell something like anything even if it's okay for you like they'll smell somebody's laundry detergent on them and they'll be like oh you know once you take it out I think you're yeah. very sensitive to smell yeah, I still like like sm smell. I love essential oils and I love smells in my beauty products, but I am, yeah, like I just started using a new natural uh, laundry detergent line that a friend has come, his, his company and they make an unscented or scented with essential oils. And I do not, I, don't, I decided to go with unscented after I tried the samples because yeah, it's just, it's just like, I don't want my clothes smelling like anything. I just don't want <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I would say mostly their products. I haven't found them to be like that stinky or anything. <laughs> yeah. Like, and like, if it's a smell, it seems to kind of dissipate. It doesn't stay around forever. And that's how you can kind of tell if something says it's fragrance free and it does have a little bit of a fragrance and it's like a strong one that lasts a long time. You probably know it's not an essential oil or something more natural because those scents kind of fade after a while. So That's if true. You're, you're using something and it lasts all day, I would maybe be aware, be weary of that. And that's the phthalates. That's the way I that's talked the, about yeah. earlier that fixes that scent. Yeah, same with like Febreze or mm -hmm. I just bought this like um, sweatshirt from a consignment store. I've washed it twice now. It still smells like fragrance. So yeah. it's fixed in there for sure. Yeah, so that's the stuff to be careful of. And phthalates are 
xenoestrogenic. They look like estrogen, kind of act like estrogen in your body. So it confuses your hormonal signals. And for women, this can mean uh, weight gain. It can, for one, you're going to store chemicals in your fat tissue. And then if your estrogen is sort of a hormone of abundance. So if you're too high in estrogens from whatever source, you can be growing more tissue, whether that's fibroids or your breasts are getting bigger or or what have you. So those are some things to be concerned about. And then with children, I think there's a, a really a real concern too, because if you're applying all this stuff and trying to get pregnant or you have young kids on the floor or crawling all over you, they're being exposed to xenoestrogens. And for any child, this can mean asthma. And for little boys, unborn little boys, this can mean things like hypospadia, so the urethra is being on the wrong place on the penis. This is starting to happen more. Um, so those are just a couple examples. And okay, one lotion won't like poison your kid, but it's just the cumulative effect of so many chemicals and we can't avoid all of them. So I think it's important to avoid them where we can. All right, so that's enough for your lecture. <laughs> if you have more questions, you can. <laughs> Let's start talking about some products. Um, so you want to give us an introduction to like the few um, key, you know, main skincare lines? Yeah, of course. So I have to say that when you say that um, beauty products can make you fat, <laughs> it makes me sad. I have to say I'm a little bit vain. So that definitely, you know, strikes a chord in me. Of course, the kids stuff too. But man, you know, like some of your beauty products that make you feel good and better about yourself could possibly, you know, have It's crazy. Weight. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, yeah. I think sometimes the way that we're chasing how our beauty is like going there on the wrong path. Like we're not chasing it down the healthy path. You right. know, if you look, I sometimes say, if you look at like an aging movie star, yeah, maybe she gets some. Botox or whatever, but she's got to drink water and work out and eat clean food because there's no way you can keep looking good without That's it. True. <laughs> yes, you just never hear about that, but you're right. Yeah, water, <laughs> water, <laughs> lots of water. So yeah, I'll go through the skincare lines. So we have three main skincare lines, and I'm going to start with our most gentle one. Um, so if you feel like you don't have any skincare issues or maybe that you're looking for something for your teenager. The nourishing line is brilliant for that. It's made with organic coconut oil and there's cleansers, there's moisturizers. Um, there's also a fun rose mist sprayer, which I love. I love rose and it's great to take on vacation with you because traveling really makes you dry. So I love to take this one on vacation. And it also comes with a great little um, eye, a little eye cream too. So if you feel like you don't have any issues, that's a great one for you to have. Um, it's very simple. I don't, I don't get any smell off of it personally. And so if you're sensitive to smell, that would be good for you too. And so that's a fun, just real basic line. I'll mention that I, uh, I started out with the nourishing exfoliator because mm -hmm. I really like to exfoliate. So it was one of the only exfoliating things I found. So, and that when I was first being introduced and I really like it, it, it is really gentle. I want a little exfoliation, but I don't need anything super harsh. So, um, so yeah, I, I like that one. I haven't used the spritzer yet, so I'll have to get that one. Yeah, yeah that one's really fun. And I do like the exfoliator too. That, was, that one is in my shower. My husband likes it. That one is manly enough for him. And it's in, you know, this white container. And <laughs> he feels like it's, you know, it's not too girly. So he'll use that one. And, and I like that it has the, I'm going to butcher this, but the jojoba beads yeah. in it. So then, you know, when you're washing it down your drain, it's not plastic, little pieces of plastic, you know, going into the oceans. So it naturally biodegrades. So that's yeah. You want to I'm watch any to kind of beadlets that. that you see mm -hmm. advertised. <clears throat> I don't think they use as many plastic beadlets as they used to, but I still see like other things being kind of in a beadlet form, and those can definitely be like plastic beadlets, basically. So yeah, and they're coming out with a men's line too, right? Right, right. Okay. Yes, we're hoping for the summer. Okay. So we had a little preview this winter and it sold out so fast 
and they were just kind of previewing it, knowing that um, it would come out again in full sizes. It just came in, in little sizes to start. And there's going to be more products coming out too. It's going to be impressive. Um, every time I see my brothers, they're asking when it, because I gifted it to them for Christmas, <laughs> and they're asking when it comes out. Like I've never had anyone in my family pester me as much as these boys. <laughs> like seriously. I love it. I missed it when it came out. And um, yeah, I mean, I think all us women just like want to buy this for the men in our lives mm -hmm. because we don't want them using like, I mean, men are now becoming much bigger consumers of personal care products. And they're not, you know, they're not usually as educated on this stuff. Uh, and they don't, like you said, they don't want something really girly to put on. So yeah. Awesome. Yeah. I like that too. So our next line that I am in love with right now is our counter match line. So counter match is really interesting because it provides hydration, 24 hours of hydration, and it gives your skin everything it needs and nothing extra. So it's giving your skin oxygen, um, nutrition and hydration. Those are the main things that your skin needs. And so um, Xavier, who created this, he is um, someone who came to us from Chanel Paris. And so he just, he discovered, well, he didn't discover, but he understands what the skin needs. And so he found botanicals and plants that will fit and help each of those different things. So it'll give you 24 hours of hydration. It's one of my favorites. It has a light plum smell. Um, Very light. Yeah, but I mean, it does definitely doesn't bother me and I am sensitive to that. So you have the day cream, you have an awesome serum, and I love that they're starting to do more glass. And they, we are a B Corp, which is awesome. So we try to take um, environment into account as much as profit and people. So we're straight across the line. We can't say, oh, we're going to go up here with profit and then down here with environmental things. Nope, they all have to be even and we have to do the right things. So we're starting to get a little bit more glass, but of course glass is heavy. So when you're trans, you know, transporting things, you have to take into account your carbon footprint. So, but I love seeing, you know, a little bit of glass here and there. So I love to know that they're trying. And then you have a night cream, which I love. And the packaging is unique because I have a little bit of a glare, but the packaging is helping to preserve it. So we don't have the traditional preservatives in it. And same with this, it's got a really cool little dropper in there. Be exposed to the oxygen. In yeah, the it's, or whatever. Or, exactly. Okay. So yeah, same with this. But yeah, this is right now my favorite line. I am loving this. And so if you feel like you are really dry, if you have dry skin, um, if you are kind of flaky, if you have combination skin, and if you are if you are concerned about aging and that you might be aging soon in the future, this is something that will keep the aging at bay. Because when you're hydrating your skin perfectly, you're not aging. So if you're kind of trying to not age, <laughs> but you may not have a ton of wrinkles or things like that, and you're not concerned with that, that would be what you would go for. Okay. So I love that. Not that I'm not aging, but I mean, I just love it. I live in Colorado. It's so dry here and I'm yet to have flaky skin this winter. And I think that's awesome. But I also have added sardines in my diet. Nice. So I know that has nice. helped. Too. Yeah, omega threes are really important too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we definitely also have to watch our diet. I just wanted to comment on this product. Uh, I love it too. It's just super nourishing and um, just feels like a, this. Your skin just gets plumped like with this layer of protection. Um, so what else was I going to say about this one? Oh yeah, that well, I heard one person say that this can possibly make like breakouts, but I haven't seen that on me. I think there is another product I identified that is maybe making me break out, but I have not seen this. Have you heard of that at all? Um, not personally, I haven't. And I have had teenagers use it. Um, my mom loves it and she's in her um, 60, late 60s and I'm in my 30s. So I mean, across the board, I've seen really good results with it. And I think the best part about Beauty Hunter is that we list all of the ingredients, every single stinking little one. So if you think you're having a reaction to something, um, we can help you figure out what it is and you can stay away from it. And we also have a 60 day money back guarantee. And 
when you per make a purchase in your boxes of free shipping labels. So if you're like, oh, I don't like this, even if it's empty, or if it gave you, you know, like a couple of pimples and you are sensitive to a certain ingredient, which, you know, everybody is, you know, in a, in a sense, then you can pop that in for free and, se and send it back for free. So I think it's worth a try. Even if maybe you've heard something like, oh, that broke out my friend. Well, everyone is so different. That's true. It's sometimes you just have to try it out yourself. Yeah, yeah. And I love the return thing. I, 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 the only one thing I maybe should have returned is I got a smooth and control shampoo and I think it was just like too heavy. My hair type is too fine. And I just kind of forgot about sending it back and I just use it as samples. But um, yeah, it's a great policy because especially you're buying something online, you're like, oh, you know, it's mm -hmm. always returns can be a hassle. So just try it out and, and see what you think. So yeah, I haven't found it to to make me break out. I like to use a moisturizer that is very light um, mm -hmm. because I think my skin does makes plenty of oil on its own. I, I, I do think I could use, so we'll get into some of the face oils later, but um, yeah, the nourishing line I think is works well for me and the counter match works well for me. Um, and I have like kind of my concerns are like aging skin and then I still definitely can have can like oily acnogenic skin at certain times of the month. Yeah, so that I would say that would be a good a good middle one for most people. In our last line that we have is our rejuvenating line and that one is great if you are worried about wrinkles or aging concerns and that one is full of more active ingredients so you're going to have more fruit acids and things like that um, that will help combat those things like fine lines, wrinkles, discoloration, um, hydration, which um, is definitely needed as you age. And it's in some really beautiful packaging and it has some fun little pumps. Um, one of my favorite things is the eye cream. The eye cream has aloe and uh, caffeine in it. And I, I feel like you have, if you're gonna buy an eye cream, whether it's Beauty Counter or any other, you wanna make sure you have caffeine in it. Caffeine is really important um, mm -hmm. for an eye cream. So that is one of my favorites. I love the eye cream. This lasts six plus months. I mean, you need the little tiniest bit. I mean, I could live off of what's in the cap for like a month. <laughs> and that's a rejuvenating eye cream. Yeah, okay. rejuvenating eye cream. Okay. Yes. So yeah, that one is, that one is great too. Um, very moisturizing too. So I do think that aging has a lot to do with hydration too. Just like Bridget said, from the inside out, got to work on that too, for sure. But yeah, there's also toner pads in that line. Lots of fun stuff. And I do have to mention the cleansing balm. Have you tried this yet, Bridget? No, I'm very curious about it. Tell me yes. about it. It's awesome. I'd have to say it's my desert island products wow. because it does so many different things. So it is a, it's a solid and what a cleanser, an oil cleanser does is it is a wonderful cleanser. You think that cleansing with oil would just be a mess and it's not, it tracks oil and just removes it. So it's really easy at night. So what you would do is put like a tiny, I'll show you how much I like to put on like that much, and you will rub it in all over your face for a, a minute or two, and then you'll take a washcloth, and you will, like a warm washcloth, and you'll just wipe it off. So I feel like the nighttime routine is so easy with that, and then you're also getting all the beneficial oils that it has in it, and it has a lot of fruit acids, so it's really great for dark spots, mm. and if you feel like you're really, really dry, then I would take a little bit more like that, put it on my face for a moisture mask, and go to bed, and in the morning, you just have baby soft skin. It's amazing. This, I haven't, have to say, I haven't needed this as much since I started the, the counter match line, I haven't needed as much hydration, but I still love it to take off my makeup, and since it's a solid, you can take it traveling oh, in your right. carry-on, which is nice. Okay. And it's good for dry spots like your elbows or your heels. Um, it's great for eye makeup. I put it on my kids, you know, cheeks when they're chapped in the winter. There's just, I think I used it on a baby's butt one time. I bet you could. 
Yeah, I was a little nervous about. I mean, it's a super top seller. People rave about it. So I was like, hmm, but it's expensive. And I think, oh, it's so oily. It's so thick. Uh, but it sounds like it's it's worth a shot. You haven't had seen people say that breaks them out either. No, no, not at all. In okay. fact, I, this is really odd, and I don't know why. But when I have a breakout, I'll put this on as a spot treatment, and it just like dissolves it, and I don't know why. Oh, okay. It's like pulling it out somehow. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. Which I guess makes sense when you say it that way, pulling it out. Okay. So yeah, that's one of my favorite, favorite, favorites. So. Okay. And then can you tell us about those like one, two, and three lines? Or I don't know what you call those. Yeah, yeah. They're so if um so these lines are great and but as I found out, there are certain things within my skin that I could I could use extra uh, boost from. So I have a little bit of discoloration um, from like right here, like after having kids and just the sun. And so I need a little bit more powerful um, product to help with that. So we have these skincare lines are one, two, and three. And one, so they come with a mask. And you can also buy these separately, but they also come in a set. A mask, an oil, and a spritzer. And so the number one line is my favorite. Well, it's, it's a close tie between that and the charcoal. But the number one line um, is great for if you feel like you have dull skin, um, discoloration, things like that, like spots. Um, it has vitamin C in it, which is great at lightening those things and giving your skin a boost and um, just a little bit of a glow. And number two is more if you're concerned with aging. So you have peony root in it, which is great for wrinkles and hydration. And that's our plumping set. And then number three is our balancing set. So if you feel like maybe you have some breakouts and some combination skin or just pissed off skin, you know, sometimes that happens. I know if I eat something that I shouldn't eat, I get the pissed off skin and I'll go right for the mask. The mask and is really uh, good. So, yeah, the mask is really, really good. So charcoal will bring out impurities and it's great for um, pores. If you have large pores, it also comes with a great oil. So this oil number three has chamomile in it, which is really great at balancing the skin and kind of calming it down. So yeah, these are all really great. So it's kind of like a bonus on top of your skincare set. So if you feel like you need something just a little extra, you, know, you can add one of those in. And I know a lot of people use these oils as their moisturizer. And sometimes I will add one of these after my night cream at night. So I'll put the night cream on and then I'll add a couple of drops after, just press them in. And I have good luck with that because they have so many great things in them. So many great pots you know, plant properties. Okay. Um, and then the regular lines come with like a serum that's different mm -hmm. than the oil. Can you explain that? Yeah. So the serum, um, these serums, let's see, are more of a creamy based serum, as you can see. Uh, so it's kind of preference if you prefer more of a creamy serum, if you're more used to that. Um, so this, the counter match one, I'm really liking because it has vitamin C and E in it, and it just soaks in really fast. And that's what you want from a serum, really light, and you just want it to soak in fast. It also has two forms of hyaluronic acid. So you get an instant moisture boost. So I'd say if you are looking for moisture, this is perfect, um, and an oil is perfect. Those two, separate or together are amazing. So I'd say it's preference if you're used to an oil, some people are. I would think you can use that as a great serum or a cream-based one, or um, the anti-aging line has one too. And it's just really, it's creamy, but it's light, oh, okay. it goes right in. It's like, it's, it's gone. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> no, I think the one thing I took me a long time to realize was breaking me out was the plumping serum. Um, uh, yeah, I felt really good, but I took that out and I, I think that was giving me some problems. So I got it because it's pumping and I don't have aging skin. I thought, oh, that's good. 
but I think it was too heavy. I, I, I need to check what type of oil is in it, but you know, different oils like have a different property for different skin types and mm -hmm. a heavier oil might not be a right fit for like a more of a congested skin type. So I think that's probably what happened to me. But again, like I don't get discouraged because I think it is a matter of finding well, you know, the things you like and just trying new things. I mean, it, you know, I just, I don't do everything at once. It would be very expensive <laughs> to do everything at once. Yeah. So I just try different things and, you know, see, see what's, see what I like. I think our skin also likes variety. So, you know, sometimes you're using the cleansing balm or maybe you bring a certain kit while you're traveling or sometimes you do a mask. Uh, I think all that helps. Uh, I'll comment on the brightening mask, which is the first one I got. I think it really works for pigmentation. Uh, it's it's very nice. And yeah, I'm loving the balancing mask because I've shared on the podcast, like just in perimenopause, like my skin is breaking out now more before my period. So now I just do the mask. Like I'll do it like a few times a week even. And then I put maybe some tea tree oil on my blemish too, or apparently I can do the cleansing balm. Yeah, and it's really keeping it at bay because if I get um, like a, a zit that goes crazy or I start picking at it, then it's mm -hmm. going to scar. And then I have to deal with that for like yeah, two months. Going. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's better to just nip it in the bud, right? And, right. and uh, figure out what works. But I think if you're using the right product and you're, you know, watching your stress and your sleep and your diet, you really can keep a lot of these things like, you know, at bay. This is what I find. And that's why I was, I told the story earlier. I was so amazed as a young person to find how much facials could help me. Um, you know, yes, like there's internal factors, but just keeping your pores open and your skin nourished, it makes a big difference. Yeah, I agree. And these masks are like a 10 minute facial for the people who, you know, are not able to get a facial very often because you can use these three times a week. Yeah, put, you put on the mask, 10 minutes later, I mean, your skin feels a lot different. Yeah, a mask is, I mean, anybody who's an esthetician, you know, listening or if you've been in one, you always have to do at least a couple times a week something that's more intensive to kind of just renew your layers of skin. So, um, so I wanted to just mention that we can take questions and then Mary, I'll also have you, um, give some previews of coming coming events we were talking about <laughs> earlier so if you're attending first of all I just really appreciate your you attending your time is very valuable and I I honestly really appreciate you spending a little time with us to learn about beauty counter and meet meet Mary and I um, and yeah, we, you know, you can ask questions later, but you can chat right now. It should either be on your right hand side or a little button on your lower right. It's I think if you're on a phone or you're attending, it's always a little different, but if you can get in the chat, you can, um, ask a question and you can even ask to like, come on and be a, you know, we can see you and hear your question. So don't be shy, it's a small group. Uh, so you're welcome to do that as well. Uh, but Mary, yeah, we've been talking a little bit about skin breaking out and tell us what's coming up for that. Yes, so we are um, hopefully, I don't have exact dates or anything, but very soon we're gonna have an acne line um, that will target those issues, which we're really excited about because we haven't had that. Beauty Counter is five years old and from what I have learned is that the harder things take a very long time to, to come out with. It's taken years to, do, to come out with mascara. Um, they've been working on deodorant for years and years, and we keep asking for it, but it's just one of those things that it's just very hard to um, formulate, and that will work for everybody. And they had, thought they had a, a formula and so they, what they like to do, which I think this is awesome, is that they have everybody in corporate try it out. And I think that's awesome because, of course, we are cruelty-free and we do not test on animals. Um, but you know what? We are the animals sometimes in the industry, right? Like, but we are, I mean, I feel like they're testing on us, these, you know, these companies, companies. don't understand what's sure, in them. Sure. But I think it's awesome that Beauty Counter, they're, you know, them themselves are using these products on themselves and testing it on themselves. So they, I think one person had like a breakout from it. So they're like, scrap it. 
you know, let's try again. So everything has to be perfect. And so, yes, we have heard little inklings about an acne line coming out soon. And in the meantime, what we like to do for acne, and I forgot to mention this because, you know, Bridget likes this. It's our charcoal bar, which is one of our favorites. And this does really well with acne. I pair this with the number three oil and I have really, really good results with my clients. And so um, also men in our life like this too. So until we can get the acne line, this is a great one to use in the meantime. And yeah, I've been hearing good things about the whole balancing line for acne. And again, I don't think the counter match bothers my skin. The bar to me is a bit drying for my face, but I recently saw a beauty counter um, newsletter about like the concept of double cleansing. Did you see mm. that blog go out? I don't know if you saw that, but they said in like Asia, it's been a common practice, like using something that's more moisturizing paired with something more exfoliating. But I think that was interesting. Um, again, just sort of like the more kind of, if you get a facial, they're doing like 10 different things yeah. to, you know, they're not doing one thing. True. So I think you can like, sometimes I'll use a bar on my face in the shower. Like, especially if I take a sauna, I use the bar all over. Um, but then I'll, it'll leave my face a little dry. So I would want to do after that, like the nourishing exfoliator, something that adds, adding back a little moisture. Okay. So we got a question from May about, are you considered an organic skincare line? I know it's, it's not because not all the ingredients are organic. And also I want to point out, not all the ingredients are natural, so to speak. So there are synthetic ingredients as preservatives and stuff. They're just not synthetic ingredients that are um, damaging, right? They're not, they're not toxic to your body. So, you know, this is again, like uh, the trouble with how I was having trouble recommending a line before, you know, you, you either have to make it yourself or get it at a really specialty place if it's like all organic because it won't last long. Um, so Mary, do you want to elaborate on that? Yeah. So also within our industry, it's kind of scary because there's no regulation on organic, non-organic, um, natural, industry, yeah. yeah, like the food no industry, the food industry, you go and pick an organic watermelon, it is organic, but within the beauty industry, it could say hundred percent organic, all natural, and you're paying a lot of money for it and it could be in none of those things in fact they don't even have to list all the ingredients on the label you don't even know if chemical a plus b equals c and that c does not need to be on there because it doesn't matter if a and b made c c doesn't have to be on the label and the fda has almost no authority and so if some if a product is making a client go bald because we all know we've heard you know rumors of companies with products like that, uh, FDA can say, can you please take it off the shelf? And the company can say, nope. And they, that, they can't do anything else. So that's what's really scary is that you can be paying a lot of money and you don't know what's in your ingredients. And Beauty Counter definitely understands that. And we would love to do everything organic and we do have organic products but we have also funded studies that show some synthetics are actually um, better for your body than the, the organic compounds or the equivalents. So you have to be careful, even things that are in nature. I mean, Mother Nature is powerful. Got to be careful of that also. Yeah, I, I had a friend who was making her own skincare line for a while and she wanted to get into the grocery stores and I mean, frankly, like the stuff she made me after six months would be bumpy or moldy or whatever. So mm -hmm. it's, it, yeah, there, there's kind of like pros and cons. So I don't want to sound like we are like kind of, um, you know, pussyfooting that need to, you know, be organic. But if you want a thing to be preserved and still what you bought, you know, six months from now, uh, you, you don't generally want to keep a product like three, four four years or whatever, but you know, you want it to last through its, its life. So, um, yeah. And I had a question too about, is it gluten-free and it is kind of gluten-free, but there's some ingredients derived from wheat. Um, so if people are very worried, there's a few products they might want to avoid, but you were saying, Mary, you have friends who are even celiac who have used all the products and haven't had mm -hmm. a problem. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Everybody is so individual that, 
I would try it on your hand first, try it on maybe like your chin first and not just all over your face. Um, but yeah, most of our products are gluten-free. There are a couple. So if you are concerned, yeah, let us know and we can walk you through that for sure. Yeah. And I, I'll, I'll preface this a little bit. Like I don't eat gluten, but I use beauty counter. Like I don't, I don't worry about it. It's, I wouldn't say, Oh, like this is the gluten line or anything. You know, it's not really quite like that. It's just like they're using a, like a wheat as a derivative of, you know, to get a binder or whatever. And it's, so it's not exactly the gluten protein. Um, but yeah, there's a list on the website. So they're very transparent, which I think is good. And another thing I like is it's such a broad line. Like it has skincare and lots of, there's a lot of skincare options out there. I'll be honest, but do they have like mascara and blush and lipstick? No, like those are harder things to formulate. So I like that it's kind of a complete set of, of stuff. Okay, I want to take one more question from Linda. Thanks, Linda. She, she is 66 and has dry skin. And she's wondering if the rejuvenating line would be the best for her. I think so. Yes, I think it's really, really moisturizing. Um, I'll show you. I'll show you just for instance the night cream and how thick and wonderful it is. I mean, is it's oh, thick yeah. and wonderful, <laughs> and it'll it'll hydrate. It's thick. But yeah, and it has a nice like. I think magnolia scent. Um, oh yeah, for sure. It's definitely very moisturizing. Um, I would even add an oil on top of that, like number two or number three oil. Yeah. Um, I think that way, I mean, those go really nice together. You can put them together and just to save time, just slap it on your skin. But yeah, for sure. Okay. And I'll mention Linda and to everybody watching. Um, so like I said, I'll, I'll do, I'll give a free gift to anybody who's a new customer and spends a hundred dollars. Um, and so if say, for instance, you, tr you try the rejuvenating line, but you're still curious about the counter match line, you can choose that sample as your sample. So I think I'm sampling the nourishing line, the counter match line, and then two masks. So, you know, it's kind of fun to have some other things and beauty counter itself will often run little specials. Like I know they had some kind of swap thing, right? Where you swapped out, I don't know, keep things in your in your shower and then they gave out little samples as like a thank you right 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 yeah they, they do fun little little deals every once in a while for sure yeah so yeah and we also have um we also have a member program and you will sign up for 29 dollars, and with every order of 50 or more you are getting um a free gift and this month it's the charcoal mask and then you're also going to get 20 oh no wait sorry you're going to get 15 percent back on all your purchases to use another time. And then you're also going to get free shipping over a hundred. So it's, it's not a um, auto ship program or anything like that. If that scares you, if you're like, Oh, membership program, I'm going to get a thousand toothbrushes <laughs> that I don't need. No, no, it's nothing like that. It's, um, it's going to save you money actually. Okay. So 15% back to you on your next purchase, free shipping over a hundred and then free gift over 50. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and these change um, every so often. So right now it's the mask, but it could be a moisturizer, an oil, just okay. kind of depends. Well, that's awesome. I actually didn't know that. So I'm also putting all this in the notes in the chat. If you're like, what did they say about that or this? <laughs> We're putting it all in the notes. So yeah, that membership's a great deal because just on a few orders, you could get all your money back and get some samples. So samples are fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Well, if there's any more questions, throw them up here, but otherwise we'll get ready to close. So thank you, Mary, so much for your time. I really appreciate oh, yeah. it. Yeah. Anytime. I love talking to you and I love how real you are and that, you know, not all the products work for everybody. And I love hearing that from you because, you know, not everything is rainbows and sunshine and <laughs> I think it's nice to talk to a real person. I love that about you. Yeah, thank you. No, I mean, yeah, I do think it's a, a great company and a great product, but I just want to encourage people to like try, try around and like figure out what's the best one for you. Um, even if you can get some smaller sizes of things, sometimes it might like get you a chance to just try things out. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I have the link to our shop in the chat and also I'm going to put one more. So it might be easiest to just know that from our website, BridgetDanner.com, you can um, go to our beauty counter page. And also from that beauty counter page, 
there's a form to fill out to pick your free gift. So that might be easier than keeping track of two links in a sense. So let me, uh, let me share that one real quick. And since I'm talking on Facebook, I'll go share that <laughs> on Facebook too. Oh, there are some people on Facebook making, okay, I got one more question for you, Mary, that was on Facebook. Sure. Thanks, Rachel, for asking a question on Facebook. Uh, ba -ba -ba. She's wanting to switch out her skincare lines over time especially the mask and the creamier serum. Awesome. Yeah. Those are some real specialty products. And Rachel, you're bringing up a great um, point that like, you don't have to buy everything at once. Mm -hmm. Like I don't buy everything at once. Like just when I'm running out of stuff, I'll, I'll buy that, that new thing. Like I just ran out of conditioner. So I'm trying a beauty counter conditioner and hair oil. And if I don't like it, I can send it back. <laughs> but hopefully I'll, I'll like it. Um, so yeah, you just, you know, go in little spurts when that men's line's coming out. I'm definitely buying the men's line. Uh, I've been seeing people buy some of the children's line, which I think is makes like a really great gift too, you know, um, to share out. And there's also, we didn't talk about, I think some of my favorite products is there's a, like a tint and moisturizer uh, there's a couple types of that, and I definitely like those products as well. So, yeah, just as you run out of things, go take a look. Go mm -hmm. That's that smart. Up. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much, everyone, for attending. We will have this recording up on YouTube, and if you signed up at the webinar version, you'll get the re replay as well. So um, just appreciate everyone's time. Please reach out to us. Um, I'll put my email in here if you have further questions. But the nice thing I think also is their website is very user friendly. You can just, you know, look around and you can see other people's comments. Like I mentioned that conditioner was or shampoo was too heavy for me. And I see other people with very thin hair commenting on what works for them. So that's like real feedback on, you know, what might be best for you as well. All right. Bye, everybody. Thanks, Mary.